All right, so I just started uh, learning C again, uh, giving it another uh, attempt. Um, what I haven't done recently is show you how to import uh, graphics from my editor here in, uh, in C, and that's because, like I said, I've just started learning again. Uh, but I think I've picked up enough stuff uh, to show you an example, and so Let's start by uh, resizing this uh, to, to 32 by 32. And uh, let's just draw a simple shape. Let's fill that in. And let's copy it. paste it and let's flip it over okay so I think that's that's good enough for an example and let's export this and we're going to choose Turbo C here so whether you have uh, Borland C, Turbo C or Turbo C++ uh, it all works the same way uh, because they all use the uh, Borland graphics interface and it's the same with Pascal. It's the same format. Uh, so we're going to export it to a put image array. And I'm going to call it diamond. And now if we jump to Visual Studio code here, I'm using this because it's a lot easier to import the, uh, the graphics. So once I do that, uh, I'll switch over to the uh, Turbo C uh, editor. So this is what I want to grab. This is the image that my editor created. Let's copy it and we'll put it, uh, let's try putting it outside main. That should still work. And let's change it to diamond here and save it. I'll flip over to the uh, Turbo C ed uh, editor. I'm using uh, DOSBox X to run uh, the uh, Turbo C compiler. The advantage of the uh, DOSBox X is that it allows you to resize the uh, the window. So if we do this, we can resize it to anything we want. So if you're using DOSBox, just plain DOSBox, it doesn't have this ability, or at least the one I have installed. But uh, DOSBox X does, and it seems to work better with uh, a lot of the uh, DOS programs I've been trying. Uh, but uh, let's reload this because I just edited it. I'm going to close it and open it again. And it's demo number two. So here we go. And hopefully once I compile this, it should, uh, should just work. And there we go. Success. Let's run it. And there we go. There's the, uh, the shape I just created. So this is one way of loading in the, the image. Another way is to load it as a file. So let me, let me save it as a file. So same image again. I'm going to export it as Turbo C again, but put image file. And we'll call it uh, diamond.xgf. Actually, I want to I want to export it somewhere else that I could access it through DOSBox. So I'm going to change the uh, location here. Okay, that should work.
And so this is a, a variation of the same demo program, but we're opening a file. And I'm going to change the, uh, the file name here. We'll call it uh, Diamond XGF because that's what we saved it as. And everything else should be fine. Uh, let's go back to Turbo C Editor and uh, let's close this open and it's demo one all right let's compile and there we go it's the same same image let's put it closer to the center of the screen uh, let's go uh, Okay, it's good enough. Anyway, so that's that's all the code that's really required to load in images. It's not very complicated and it uses the built-in graphics. You don't have to use third-party graphics toolkit if you want to use some simple graphics. You can use the Borland graphics interface. Uh, now, it does have some disadvantages. If you're going to do games, it, it's a little slow, but for board games or just regular um, applications, it's fine. Uh, one thing to note about the uh, Turbo C++ compiler, um, out of the box in terms of configuration, you actually have to configure the, the linker options here to include the graphics library. So mine, when I installed this, this was off and uh, let me just show you what happens in case you get the same error if you try to compile it looks like it works but if you try to run you get all these errors here and that's because it's not linking the library so if we go back libraries enable it again compile run it works all right, so that's it. Uh, hopefully, I didn't make too many mistakes with this uh, C. If you did notice some mistakes here in the code, let me know. I'm still learning. Would, would appreciate it. Thank you.